Hey, how's it going, folks? Well, tonight during NXT on USA, we did see a new NXT Cruiserweight Champion crowned as Angel Garza did defeat Leo Rush in the opening match of the episode. The match did go back and forth, but eventually won in the favor of Garza, who ended up getting the win via submission. He is the first NXT Cruiserweight Champion of Mexican descent. And after the match, he thanked the WWE Universe as well as all of his fans, family, and then he brought his girlfriend into the ring and he asked her to marry him, which was done after the match, during the commercial break, WWE did play this segment during NXT television. In another report from Squared Circle, Sirens, interesting report here. Casey Catanzaro has met with WWE officials today at the Performance Center. For those who know, she has been on hiatus for several months. Back in September, news broke that she asked for her release. And she hasn't been spotted at the WWE Performance Center since August. Her last match with the company was in July. Apparently today she did meet with Matt Bloom. Not sure what the story is on that meeting, whether or not she has agreed to come back to the company, if she's still on hiatus, what's going on with that, but she has had a meeting with Matt Bloom. And sad news here, former AWA and WWE star Rene Goulet has passed away at the age of 86. Uh, Rene Goulet actually died back in May. The Cauliflower Alley Club announced today that his passing did happen in May on May 26th, but the news was private until today and he was a mainstay in AWA, eventually signed with the WWWF. He is a former WWWF Tag Team Champion. In 1981, he tagged up with Andre the Giant. They won the New Japan Pro Wrestling World Tag League Tournament. And he was the first match on the USA Network for WWE facing Tito Santana. Uh, in his later years with the company, he was a road agent. And he was seen a lot of the times on WWE television. And we do send our condolences to his family during this trying time. And last but not least, WWE has filed several former WCW and ECW trademarks. This was filed on the 6th of December. A lot of names here, including Fully Loaded, Living Dangerously, Heat Wave, Anarchy Rules, World War III, Shy Town Rumble, Sin Sold Out, New Blood Rising, Hog Wild, Co Capital Combat, Road Wild, Greed, Uncensored, Spring Stampede, The Day of Mayhem, Beach Blast, Massacre on 34th Street, and Hardcore Heaven. These were filed clearly to try to get somebody else not to file them. Probably more specifically Cody Rhodes, who has recently this year filed a number of WCW trademarks. That being said, your thoughts, drop them in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to DTT that like button and subscribe. Join the notification squad to be notified of new videos. And have a great day.